The history of the Feili Kurds are among most people unclear. The Kurds are divided between regions, parties, religions and dialects. Among the Kurds, the Feili Kurds are those which we probably don't know a lot about. Today, we will talk about them to clear out everything. However, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the alarm button in order to not miss any notifications when we upload new content on our channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Much alike the Sorani Kurds in Southern Kurdistan and the Kurmanji Kurds in Northern Kurdistan, the Feili Kurds is a heterogeneous group of people which means that they are descended from several different ancient peoples. The Feili Kurds lives mostly in southeastern Kurdistan, also known as Luristan. However, the place is by Feili Kurds known as Pishtekuh, which means behind the mountain. Looking at the etymology, there are several different theories regarding where the word Feili comes from. While the Sorani Kurds got their name from the Soran Emirate, which ruled areas where Sorani Kurds now lives, the Feili Kurds has an older history of the word Feili. According to some sources, the word Feili is connected with the Arabic word of elephant, which is Feel. These theories claim that the Arabs regarded the Feili Kurds being big as elephants, thereof the name. However, there is another theory which is more reliable and logic. According to this, the Feilis heritage from a people known as the Parthians. These people called themselves Pahlava or Pahla. Within time, as Arabs invaded Western Asia, some letters were replaced with other in the Kurdish and Persian language. The letter P was replaced with F since the letter P didn't exist in the Arabic language. That's why the people Parsi and the area Pars became Farsi and Fars. In the same way Pahla became Fahla and in time also Feili. This mentioned theory claims that the Feili Kurds heritage from the Parthians. However, one should know that the area around Ilam in Luristan, where the Feili Kurds lives, wasn't deserted when the Parthians came there. Ilam, which are seen as the capital of the Feili Kurds, was built up by the Elamitians, a people who built a mighty empire which threatened both the Sumerians and the Babylonians. The same Elamitians was soon conquered by the Medes, who settled themselves in the area and these Medes was within time conquered by the Parthians. Summarizing the whole thing, one can conclude that the Feili Kurds are a mix of these three peoples, the Elamites, the Medes and the Parthians. Among these three, the Median genetics have come out stronger than the others, something that shows that the Kurds as a group have lived in the area for thousands of years. The Feili Kurd speaks a rare kind of Kurdish dialect. It is one of the oldest one among the Kurds and if one would to compare Feili Kurdish with for example Sorani or Kurmanji Kurdish, the Feili Kurdish dialect doesn't have its own written alphabet. The tradition of the Feili Kurds has therefore become an oral one. Stories and songs have been passed away from mouth to mouth. The Feili Kurds have in history faced some of the worst incidents in West Asia's history. The Feili Kurds have been conquered by the invading Seljuk dynasty, the Mongolian occupants as well as the Timurid Empire, who both burned down the Feili Kurds farms and villages and committed ethnic cleansing towards the Feilis in the area. The Feili Kurds belongs mainly to two religions. Similar to most Kurds, many Feili Kurds are Muslims, belonging to the Shia faith. According to the most accepted theory, they first were Sunni Muslims forced to take the Shia faith under the rule of the Safavid dynasty, which were a Shia Muslim Azeri dynasty who ruled Iran between 16th and 17th century. Among Feili Kurds there is also those who belong to the Yazadanian faith. This faith simply combines Zoroastrianism, Kurdish mysticism and Islam into one. Feili Kurds of Yazdanism has often experienced oppressions from the Iranians. 
The Feili Kurds has alongside several other Kurdish groups nomadic tattoos, often around their hands, jaws, foreheads and down their chest on the women. These tattoos have special meanings often connected to strength, religion, love and other similar things. As it wasn't complicated enough, the Feili Kurds are an undergroup among other dialect groups within the Kurds. These are the Lurs. The Lurs are divided in two groups, Haftlang, which means seven clans, and the Chwarlang, which means four clans. The four clan group, which obviously is the smaller one, is those who call themselves Feili Kurds. The other group, Haftlang, claims that the Lurs are an own ethnicity closely related to the Persians. This split up happened during the Persian Pahlavi dynasty who wanted to assimilate all Lurs to the Persian nation. Since the Lurs are the only one of the Kurdish groups which belongs to the Shia faith, the process of assimilation became easier. To summarize, starting from the top, we have the Kurds, the Lurs and the Feilis. The Feili Kurds also have a large population in Baghdad. During the industrialization of Western Asia in the end of 19th century, a massive movement from the countries to the cities were made and thousands of Feili Kurds traveled to Baghdad to improve their life situations but also to be closer to Shia holy places such as Karbala and Najaf. The Feili Kurds established themselves and most of them became well educated with a huge economic, social and cultural capital. Many became important within the Iraqi Communist Party and others they joined the Peshmerga fighting for an independent Kurdistan. Despite many of them living outside of Kurdistan, a surprising large group of Feilis kept their Kurdish language and culture as an important part of their lives. The larger capital and the huge political influence that the Feili Kurds had made them a natural enemy of the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. During the reign of Saddam Hussein, the Feili Kurds experienced one of the worst genocides in Iraqi history comparable with the Jews in Nazi Germany. The Feili Kurds were banished, murdered, tortured and massacred. A huge propaganda was held towards them, marking them as an object to hate and disgust in the Iraqi society. Due to this oppression, there is a big Feili Kurdish group of immigrants living in the West. Among the Feili Kurds, many are assimilated, speaking only Persian or Arabic. Some of them have even forgotten about their Kurdish identity, claiming themselves as Persians or Arabs. However, and especially in recent years, the Feili Kurds have been more and more active in the Kurdish cause than before. Fortunately, we can finish the video off with something good. The history speaks clearly. The Feili Kurds have survived in the biggest of harsh tests and will hopefully keep on surviving. If you like this video, please click the like button below and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any further video. We will see you again next week with a brand new video. Don't forget to comment down below what you would like us to do in the next video.